Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm Dr. Boyce Watkins from Your Black World and the Black Business School. Um, <clears throat> I'm uh, I'm not, you know, I'm not decked out or dressed up or anything, but I had to share this thought with you um, that um, I hope you'll understand where it's coming from, the spirit with which it's intended. Um, I was thinking about the fact that black people are the only people that I know of who um, actually seek to send uh, their children. They raise their children to serve white people. Um, they, you know, we wonder why white supremacy is so powerful. Uh, well, we're investing directly in white supremacy and supporting it when we take our most valuable financial assets that are worth billions of dollars, our children, and we invest our children's future into white supremacist corporations, white supremacist in institutions. So I was thinking about the fact that we're the only group of people that will raise our children and prepare them to go work for a white man. We will prepare them to go serve their oppressor. Um, I would say that that's a lot like a parent raising their daughter and saying, I'm going to take you to an R. Kelly concert, hoping that you'll get your big break. If I'm lucky, R. Kelly will bring you on stage. Uh, if we're really lucky, he'll he'll make you his protege. If we're really lucky, he'll have you in the studio and then he'll make you famous. Right now, we know that there's flaws in that logic. We know that that doesn't make any sense. We know that that's not going to work. But there are lots of us who do that. When you are, uh, when you are looking at the history of what has happened in America, you know, I'm talking about, I'm talking about the white man. I mean, let's just look at the reality here. Uh, this is a uh, group of people that has never really liked you very much. They've mistreated you, spit on you, disrespected you, cut you off from resources, uh, extorted you at every possible turn. And you are doubling down on white supremacy by committing your children to go and serve these individuals, uh, committing your children to uh, grow up only knowing how to fill out a job application, knowing nothing about um, filling out the form for an LLC. Um, they grow up uh, not knowing how to make an investment, not knowing anything about real estate, but they grow up knowing how to get a job. Uh, well, you're you're feeding them right to the lion. You're feeding them right to the beast, the beast that's going to oppress them. So if you want to connect that, if you want to understand why there are so many black folks in our community that are depressed, that depression is directly linked to economic issues. Financial depression, financial anxiety are the two leading uh, leading factors in, in, in health related issues, psycho mental health related issues that black people face in America. So I'm telling you that it's time to change the agenda. Train your children to work for themselves or to work with other black people. Do not train them just to go work for Massa because Massa doesn't have their best interests at heart. So that's what I want you to do. Um, I'm going to go in here. I'm, I'm literally about to go in and take my nap, but I had this thought and you know me. When I have a thought, um, I have to share it with you because it took me 47 years to conjure this thought out of my subconscious and I'm going to release it before I throw it away. So forgive me for my uh, casual attire. Uh, this is my favorite robe. It's nice and warm and cozy and I love it. Uh, and and uh, if you want your children to learn about wealth, uh, we have a great wealth building program for children in the Black Business School. If you'd like to go check it out, go to blackmillionairesoftomorrow.com. That's blackmillionairesoftomorrow.com. What I did was I took college level economic concepts, broke them down for children, broke them down for seven year olds, eight year olds to understand. We have children that are six, seven, eight, nine, ten years old and up, uh, as, as old as, as 80 years old in the program uh, for people that are intimidated by wealth. Uh, there are videos, cartoons, puppets, everything else. Also, there are self-study exams so you can make sure that they know the material well. And then most importantly, they can get a degree in the Black Business School once they're done. That degree is very important because they can put it on their wall and they will have this as something that designates them. That, um, that uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Um, that uh, validates them as a wealth builder. And that's what they're going to carry with them through life. Attitude is everything. So this shapes their attitude and not just their training level. But even beyond that, they're going to have a financial literacy level that exceeds the average college educated adult. I know this because I taught college students for a very long time. You guys know that. So anyway, I just had to share that thought with you. Um, uh, I know it's crazy. I'm sitting here in my bathroom talking to you about it, but I just had to let that out. Literally, the idea that we are preparing our children to go and work for their oppressor is a real big issue, and we got to think about that. So hit that thumbs up button if you're on uh, YouTube or anywhere else. Uh, also, make sure you subscribe and check out the program for kids. I think you're going to like it. It's blackmillionairesoftomorrow.com. I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Peace.